so application, uh, it's a automatic launch sprinkler system. I'm just gonna, not going to read the whole thing. So you got eight sprinkler system installed at eight different zones within a property. Only one can be working at one time just to maintain there's a constant and the right pressure coming out of it. Uh, microcontroller A, B, and C. Okay. Three outputs of the microcontroller, eight sprinkler system. Well, we can use a three by eight decoder. Okay. So this is D naught, D one, uh, and this is D seven. Okay. Uh, this is enable of the decoder. If enable is zero, then all the outputs are going to be zero, correct? If enable is one and inputs is zero, 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 that comes out of microcontroller going into decoder. What is going to be the output? So zero makes a code of zero. This is going to be high, rest of the other going to be zero, correct? Similarly, it actually just makes a diagonal. So if you look at this, the enable is high, triple one makes a code of seven, seven is high, right? All there are going to be zero. Okay. Um, and again, you know, with the D naught, D one, you do it to a table, you came up with expressions. I actually went ahead and did it for you guys using the logism. Okay. Here's the circuit looks like. Uh, if you see A and B set to high, which sprinkler should be working? The eighth one, the seventh one, uh, which uh, D seven will be working. Okay, how would we do the coding for it? Let's do this real quick. Uh, so module space sprinkling system. Uh, I'll say the X are the outputs, which are A, B, C. Then I'll declare it as an array. Uh, and output and D uh, are the outputs here. So the input is two zero X, which are basically my A, B, and C inputs. Output is is eight sprinkler system. So we need seven to zero, and this is our D. Okay. Uh, we say initially. Uh, well, initially I want to set. Uh, I want to set all of them to zero. So I say, I'm going to say eight bits and all of them are zeros, okay? Uh, you can also write eight zeros or one zero would also work here. Always at, what are those things that are changing the value will have an impact upon the uh, sprinkler? It's A, B, C, correct? And which are basically X, so I can write always at X. What is going to be the case here? Again, X, right? Notice there's no semicolon. Here I'm saying when three bits and those three bits are set to triple zero, then what should be the output? What should be the output here? The zero sprinkler system should be working. The rest of the other sprinkler should be off. So how would I say D equals to 8 bar B, all the sprinklers off except for D naught, correct? So this is your D naught, this is your D1, this is your D2, D3, and they go, this is D7, right? So all the sprinklers are off except for D naught, correct? Similarly, if 3B, 3 bits are 0, 0, 1, meaning A is 0, B is 0, C is 1 which we have actually declared as an X. So which sprinkler should be working? D1, right? So all zeros except for D1, okay? Correct? Uh, similarly over here, uh, zero, 010 zero makes a binary code of two, right? So sprinkler two would be working. B0000, zero, 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 one, zero, zero, okay? And I went ahead and filled uh, the rest. There's actually one missing for 3-3, three, three, so I'll just do it here, 0, 1, 1. Uh, and then this D equals to 8 bar B, 0, 0, 1, triple 0, okay? Uh, and then we finished this N case and N module.
okay? So you can think of this kind of example, build upon it, and this could be your final project, okay? All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow.